What's up, Christ United Kids? It is Monday, which means that we are going to learn a brand new verse to write on our hearts. But before we do that, who thinks that they can say all five verses that we've learned so far? All right, this is a big mega test to our memory, to mine too. Are you ready? Let's do it. Mark 12, 30 and 31. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater command than these. How'd you do? Awesome. All right, now are you ready for the one from Luke? Luke 19, 10, for the Son of Man, came to seek and save the lost. Oh, great job, everybody. All right, now we have Mark 10, 45. Are you ready? Mark 10, 45. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Awesome job. All right, everybody take a deep breath. Now we have the one from last week, which was kind of long, but hopefully you've been practicing it every single day with me. Are you ready? Joshua 1, 8. Keep this book of law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it then you will be prosperous and successful. Awesome job. Are you ready to learn our new verse? All right, guess what? I have great news. It's short this week, all right? And we, it actually has Jesus's name in it. So when we say Jesus, we're gonna touch our palms like this because when Jesus um, died on the cross, he actually had nails put into his hands, and so this is the sign language for Jesus, okay? All right, we're gonna go slow, and you guys are gonna repeat after me. Here we go. Luke 5, 16. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. Awesome. Can we try it a little faster? Luke 5, 16. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. All right, one more time. Let's see if we can do it just a little bit faster. Here we go. Luke 5, 16. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. Awesome job. All right, guys and girls, tomorrow and the rest of the week, we're gonna be talking about what that verse means and how God wants us to connect with him every single day. All right, we're gonna be talking about connecting by praying and connecting by reading his word, but we will get into all of that starting tomorrow. So. Keep practicing your memory verses. This will be number six for us, and I will see you guys tomorrow.